Thank you, Deb Marshy. This question from the Washington Post. Marshy, you've given great credit to the Vedic tradition of India for its ability to create peace and prosperity in the world. If this is the case, could you please comment on why India doesn't seem to be experiencing widespread peace and prosperity today? Why, haven't, why hasn't the Vedic knowledge created a more peaceful India by now? Because Indians went away from their heritage, yajnas are not being done in India. Foreign rule has destroyed, but this destruction came to Indians due to not following the royal path of the Vedic rites. There is no hiding face from it. Only in the absence of the light could darkness prevail. And if India is in weakness, then it's only because it has not gained strength. And all strength is there in the transcendental field of everyone, whether Indian or American or Chinese or anyone. Jivo Brahma Ivana Para, this is the Veda. Every individual is cosmic in his potential. But if he doesn't unfold the potential, whether he is Indian or anybody, he remains ignorant and ignorance must make him do wrong things like that, like that, like that, like that. So because India has become weak, it does not mean that the Veda is not powerful. Vedic, those who know what Ved is, Ved is the field of pure knowledge. And pure knowledge is the nature of one's own transcendental consciousness its own transcendental consciousness. Anyone who practices transcendental meditation, he experiences that and he gets the advantage of that experience. Right thought, peaceful thought, good life. If one doesn't do it, then one doesn't do it. Then finish, whether he's Indian or anyone. There is a proverb, my dear press, there is a proverb the taste of pudding is in eating. If you don't eat the pudding, then you don't taste the pudding. <laughs> the taste of pudding is in eating. If you don't light your lamp, you remain in darkness. You may be a very wise man, and somebody says, you are so wise, how you are breaking your head and knees in, in the dark? And why you are breaking your knees and head in the dark? Because you have not lighted the lamp. You may be very wise man, but you have not lighted the lamp. <laughs> That's all. India has been ruled by foreign powers just because they drifted away from their almighty power of God. They drifted away. They drifted away. Every human being is the action of all the laws of nature, which we say the grace of God or the will of God. And if one doesn't have that education, whatever may be the reason, one could say, this, uh, oh, this, these foreigners came and these foreigners came, but these foreigners came and defeated because the country was weak. And the country was weak because they didn't care for their inner strength. They remained weak. If the roots are not well spread, any little wind 
will make the tree fall. So India was ruled for so many centuries by foreign powers because India became weak. They lost the thread. They lost Brahma Sutras. They lost Yoga Sutras. They lost Bhakti Sutras. And all the knowledge is there. They lost it. And they became weak. Who can help them?